These Yumis are getting their orders from that Space Marine boss. That one we want to stomp. Might be we can catch them and stomp them right here. Priority box channel Secundus. Lord Ascendant, I lead the faithful assaulting Capital Spire. I am pleased to report that the Spire's defenders have fallen. They were unprepared for an attack from within. We shall hold the Spire and await your transmission bearing further instructions. Glory to the Ascendant. Glory to Korn. Oh, ho, ho, Mr. Nailbrain. We's about to embark on one of Gork's simple pleasures. If there's one thing them humans do well, it's building huge saga forts for us orcs to kick over. They do got loads and loads of big shooty wagons and the like, though. You say that like it's a bad thing, Mr. Nailbrain. Just mix for better looting. Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Dawn of War 2 Retribution. I'm still Negaroth. I have returning guest, Deceitful Penguin, here with Greetings, me. Greetings, civilians. Civilians in this tattered war zone with flash burners and fast forwarding. Yes, I am Chaos Guardsman. I am very excited. Yes, for corn. Corn be praised. Indeed. Blood for the. Bartering, bartering skulls. Blood for the blood god. I'm very excited about having betrayed everything mankind stands for. Very such a. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We are in the next wonderful mission of retribution here. I think this is called Capital Gardens, and it doesn't really look like a garden anymore. But I guess that's just a, a metaphorical thing. Well, my town is called the Town of Gardens, and, well, actually it does have gardens, so it's nothing alike. Pull back that Lehman Russ and regroup! Fourth and 17th! I want an assault line of Bane Wolves pressing this position! And the, uh, you know, Retribution actually does something that, uh, you know, Fire Warrior doesn't really feel the need to, which is attempt to conserve, you know, these precious technologies. Uh, they're, you know, that Lehman Russ was about to get blown up, and they were like, you know, let's get the fuck out of here. We don't have enough Lehman Russes to spare. But that's cowardice, sir. I'm fairly certain that's showing sense or tactics or one of those things. That's against the Imperial Code. You should just throw things at problems or difficulties and you just watch them die 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 yeah well not in this game in this game whenever they have a plot necessary entity they want to make sure it's kept alive you know whether whether, whether that be uh, Davian Thule who became an immortal uh, dreadnought or you know your average Lehman Russ so they like the railroad and DM that's pretty funny, I think. Yes. You're not much into board games, Nigra? Uh, Parcheesi and Monopoly, they're board games. If you mean, you know, if I ever wore a monocle and rolled some D20s to get to Park Place, I never did that. Oh. You don't know what you're missing, like. That, you don't really. It's a wonderful thing. I. I, I've I've heard many an awkward story about weekends wasted in dank basements with no lights on and only the the power of imagination to keep your fellow man warm. Well, it's not always like that. I once did it in a nice cabin up in the mountains where we had actually to do our character sheets on not only a piece of paper because we forgot to bring them. To do them on like bark. Mm. Is there like papyrus up there? Papyrus now. We can't get the reeds here. We don't have the swamps for it. It's dreadful, it is. I'm sure there has to be some. You were talking about um, the their fearful mosquitoes in your in your land. Ah yes, the one lake that we have that has mosquitoes. It's wonderful, you know, having that single. Uh, place that actually has 
running water and nice weather, and then of course it has to have mosquitoes. And trolls. Ah, but trolls are omnipresent. You know, they even have a political party. Do they? Yes, in fact, there was uh, famous, the current uh, mayor of Iceland's capital was actually a troll. He promised us uh, improved conditions for polar bears, free haircuts, and all kinds of nonsense, and people voted for him like crazy, because if you can't laugh, what can you do? How many children did he eat during his reign? Oh, I'm fairly certain that most of them have stopped eating children. It's just, you know, uh, they found out it's very unhealthy, and, you know, uh, there's also the problem of cost. You know, raising a good child and importing it here is very, very expensive. And most trolls nowadays are just middle class, so they can't afford the children they once could. So, so they would be eating less um, Icelandic children and importing more larger American children, or possibly fatty Germans. Ah, yes, I've actually heard about that. They, they, they used to call it Hannibal Lecter Restaurant, and they would order the kids' meal. I, re I remember hearing about, uh, it wasn't really children, it, but it was more of like this whole, uh, I don't, I don't really know if, uh, Germanic nations have their, their Craigslist, uh, but people would inquire to other people about being cannibal victims, where it was a voluntary cannibal. That was in Germany, and they had problems prosecuting it because obviously the victim gave consent, but they ruled that if you're capable of giving consent in that case, uh, you're obviously too insane to give consent, and so it was illegal. Sounds like a real catch-22. <laughs> yes. Very similar to 40k in that sense. You know, if you're crazy enough to actually... Then, then it's crazy enough to work. Ah, uh, for orcs, yeah. yeah. Them gubbins! I got them shiny bits, sir. <laughs> Look at him, but, yeah. puny humies. We're gonna go to town on this sorry lot, yeah. Yeah, uh, this this particular mission, though, getting a bit back to it, is allowing us to uh, show off a bit of the uh, rather interesting new moves that are available. You may have been noticing uh, Brickfist jumping a lot higher and doing a lot more obvious splash damage than he was before. Uh, that's a nice little modifier to his jumping ability. You might have also noticed that, uh, you know, a few times using the captain's uh, wah ability will manifest out some temporary boys to help. That's useful. Uh, I don't think... I think uh, Spookum still has his huge assortment of grenades, which is... Never going to get old, I'm sure. And oddly enough, it's it's a bit of a weird trait that uh, Mr. Nailbrain has, but basically, any time he uses an ability now, will cause a small earthquake. So if if he heals somebody, earthquake. If he turns on a shield, earthquake. If he uses his earthquake abilities, earthquakes. <laughs> So th there, there is no overkill in uh, in the world of 40k. We're talking about where the basic weapon is a huge fuck off laser that burns off people's heads, and that's the weakest weapon they find. Uh. Yeah. Also, you may be noticing the uh, I've been rather leisurely using the arcing rockets of death that Spookums has. It's uh, it actually can be pretty useful for the stage as there are a lot of these uh, chimeras around. They're not too high damage, but uh, they if you don't have good anti-vehicle weapons, it could be kind of tedious to kill them since there's like 12 of them on this stage. We also uh, we we also will be seeing another uh, type of chimera further up on the hill here. Of these stairs, I should say. Rigid, rigid hills are, I suppose, uh, stairs. Um, and it's uh, it's shooting chemical sprays at us. I think 
This is actually uh, called a, a Bane Wolf, if I, if I remember correctly. My theory is actually that it's just ill. Yeah, I think you were, you were uh, thinking that it was just snot. Maybe it was like Nurgle juice. Yeah, I can imagine them filling fire hoses with, you know, uh, Nurgle's little presents, spraying it on people. And even if they survive it, well, they would wish they wouldn't have. Well, then they'll just get that uh, gentle whisper from the the Eldar god that's being held captive by Nurgle. Yeah, that's more like yeah. uh, a, a plaintive look from the captive as you suffer terribly and die. 